This rod's are in. Got her. Oh, good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, man. Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 6 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. But there's some weed, more weeds that have been growing up on these rocks than in years past. These rocks should have a fish on them. It's just perfect for the wind is like this, it's game on. Rods are in. Got her. Oh, good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, man. Unless she's down in that. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to take her around the other side. No. Oh. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Camera's rolling, hat cam rolling? Yeah. Yes! All right, guys, there's a beautiful muskie. Wow, look at that. Look at the colors on that fish right there. Just a beautiful, clear muskie. 500 Booker tail tinsel coming in again. The Rocket Man, Elton John, all pink. Beautiful fish. We'll get her back and we'll fill you in on all the details. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another musky segment here on the Musky Master YouTube channel. I am fishing with longtime buddy Chris Opper. Dude, good to have you on the show, man. We got Great. two muskies Great. in the net. Yep, so what far. has been the pattern so far today? Rocks. Yeah, which is which Rocks. is interesting, folks, because I'd say almost all season so far, the two of us were just talking about how much how strong the weed bite has been. But here we are in another, you know, classic evening here we got a southern breeze we got a storm kind of approaching in the next day or two things are kind of turning around but our weed bite is not the hot ticket right now no, it's rocks. It has, it has been always make sure you're checking different types of structures even when you've had success fishing weeds or timber or cribs you can't always you know bet all your money on that particular uh you know pattern to pay off every single day because we all know in this sport things change all the time they change overnight minutes but something to think about guys when you're fishing rocks how do you how do you decipher between what rock humps might be good and what rock humps might not be good when you've got 25 to pick from people ask it all the time at seminars well how do you know which one's good well you know how they're made up is one thing you know the different sizes of boulders and that whatnot but just from the basic standpoint of what kind of uh, wind is blowing on it? Is there, a, is there shade? Is it a shaded rock reef? Is it sunny? Sometimes these things do pay off uh, on a particular uh, outing like we are you know, here tonight. Yep, so both of those were uh, windblown. Windblown pumps. reefs. So those are the two things I'd say. Uh, anything else, Chris? Nothing. I rocks, think we, rocks, rocks. Rocks, rocks. We're going to keep exploring rocks. We're probably going to you know, fish a couple weed lines if I can convince Chris to fish weeds tonight. I don't know. I don't, it's hard. It's hard <laughs> it's, now. It's going to be hard to get him into the, the weed bite. We'll see what happens, guys. But uh, Fish around the rocks. Yes, they are. We really hope you guys enjoyed this segment. And as always, thanks for watching.